G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, Adam Finlay from Audacity Charters out of Townsville, and the sow away, Jack Nolan's with us again. <laughs> Where were you hiding? You just popped I snuck, up. snuck on this morning, mate. I was under the front. Bit of a rough trip out. We left really early from the boat ramp this morning, uh, and it was a little bit bumpy, but mate, we've made it here. Perfect conditions, not too hot, bit of it's breeze. Good. It's good, it's good having that little bit of, bit of wave action too. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, so, large mouth nana guys on the menu. Yep. Big red, fantastic reef fish, very, very good eating fish but also pull good hard, fighting. good fighting. Very good fighting. We're gonna do a bit of bait fishing and hopefully drop some soft plastics down and catch Definitely. them. You told me we're a pretty good chance, so pressure's on you now, mate, that's for sure. All sweet. That's a good sign, marking a heap of fish there. Boys is getting some gear rigged down the back. I'm driving at the moment, but Adam, uh, Adam's gonna be doing a fair bit of that for us. I'll just grab the wheel for a second. We'll put the electric motor down here, but I gotta tell you, that looks really, really good right there. Um, in about 40 meters. A little bit of current, but the electric motor will hold us perfectly. A little bit of breeze today, a little bit of a bumpy trip on the way out too, I must say, but um, get to the Great Barrier Reef, you've, you've, or just inside it, we are here in that sort of rubbly ground. You've got to do the miles. Mate, I'm going to steal this. So what's that, shark mackerel? Shark mackerel, that one, yeah. So flesh baits work really well for largemouth nanagai. Yeah, so they do good two things. They last on the hook, so the little pickers can pick at it for a little while. The larger it comes over, he'll swallow it. There's something left, cuttlefish, squid tend to get picked off very quickly. So. Yeah, right. And of course, we know, when we're talking about the name of these fish, large mouth, now there's a small mouth and a large mouth. They, they physically have a big mouth. So, yeah. so tenno hooks. Tenno hooks, bigger the bait. Bigger the Make bait. Make sure there's plenty of hook exposed. So uh, the case... old hiding the hook, no need for that out here. So we're not burying. Just, no, they just swallow. Yep. So we'll suck it in and that, that scenario beautiful. works fine. Perfect. Okay, cool. A little bit of That's current. Really so we've got quite a quite a heavy sinker there for 40 metres of water. And then we've got those two, I've got two drop. Well you've actually done it the old Paternoster, Bert Paternoster style. Yep. And I've I've got three-way swivels. They both both work really well. That's quicker and easier, I guess. Um, I'm running slightly longer leaders in the current than you are. Proof's in the pudding. I'm exactly. going over the side. Let's do exactly. it. Yep. Pretty cool outfit, this one. Nice short, what, like a short stroking rod. 50, P5 dates, a 50 to 80 pound, 50 pound braid, 80 pound leader. I guess pretty standard setup when it comes to fishing this part of the world. Bit of colour there now, mate, so. Yeah, it's a better size. That's a larger, you reckon? Yeah, it's definitely a larger. No, it's oh. not, actually. Oh, it's I turned like into a big lump of a cod. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a miracle fish, that one. It was originally a, wow, look at that. Come down here, mate. Yeah. Show everybody that. How good's the eyes? He's going like a train, too. Beautiful, oh, the hey? green eyes, yeah. amazing. And they follow you. They go putting your finger in the mouth of most of this cod family. They've got rows and rows and rows of gripping teeth. So keep yourself away from that. They're an ambush predator, obviously. Come in, snatch and, snatch yep. and go. I'll just swallow in one with that mouth. All right, mate, off you go. You keep the sharks away for me, big fella. <laughs> He's gone. Drop that bait down, it didn't take long there. Got a fish right here. Oh. That's a bit better. Nice large mouth here. Do you want him on? Yeah. You hold the rod yep, there, mate, and I'll do the honours. All right. There he is, mate. Ah, on the board. On the board. You see that pressure doesn't do them any favours here. He <laughs> sort of bulges his eyes a little bit. But um, even a fish that size, large man, it's going to take a big bait, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. It's a big mouth. So it 
Yeah, even at that 60 centimetre size, yep. he's uh, he can swallow something that's you know, 25 centimetres long when it comes to a slab bait. So there's a lot of picking, like picking yeah. down there. Yeah. So all like, those other like little husses um, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and smallmouth and little trevallies and stuff like that with even smaller mouths. So that's why I use that bigger bait. Right. Get a bit more time. What happens is they pick away. This fella comes along and goes, "What's going on? There's something left." Bang. That's a good tip. I'm going to put it into play over here. Oh, awesome. Some nice head shakes there. That was on the ooh, on the plastic. Good fish. Dropped it down and prawn shaped plastic. No, nah, no, nah, just the curly tail. Grab that yeah, one. Right. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just over there talking to Jack. And, oh, I'm on at the same time here now. Oh, we've got some nice colour here. It's looking pretty silver to me. I'm not sure. Oh, oh it's right there. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. it's a big trevally. Big golden. Oh, big golden trevally, yeah. Swing around here. Oh. Hang on. There he is. Oh. There we go, mate. That's a pretty big golden. That's awesome. That's as big as they get, mate. Big as they get out yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. He took a liking to that plastic. Loved it. Oh, it's red. Oh, Chinaman. <laughs> Solid. Look at that. That's a solid. solid. They're a cool looking fish, aren't they? The tournament. Yeah, you grab that for me. Oh. <laughs> Check that out. Well, they're a protected species up here. Yep. Um, Do you, why protected as in? Uh, for the cigatera toxins in them. Okay. So they can build up of, uh, of, of a poisonous toxin that, uh, yeah, you shouldn't be really eating them. Okay. Well, we'll get, mate, I wouldn't mind a quick photo of this bloke in a minute. Hold him up and show everyone a name what a Chinaman looks like. And uh, then we'll let him go and he can swim back down, eh? Beautiful. All right, let's get him back in there, Jacko. Come on, buddy. There he goes. So we're using the GPS to mark our location, obviously, but the GPS marks aren't there, Adam. It's interesting, huh? Surprise, hey? surprise, that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> These are largemouth nana guys? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, cool. 50 metres of water. Um, that's um, high chirp we're using there at the moment, one yep. kilowatt. So uh, that's that's got it marked up really, really well. It looked pretty thick there. Yeah, it's awesome. You so can see, see some of them in the beam, some directly off the beam. Which means they're over Perfect. a broad There's area, don't they? Yeah, so. Right. Well, you you keep good. talking here, I'm going to sneak yeah, down the sure. back. So. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Didn't take too long. Look at sound of pictures like that, and it's just certainly gets you excited to. Drop a bait down there. Oh, whack, whack, whack. Similar head shakes to what I'd get off a snapper down home, I reckon. Oh, got a bit of colour way down there now. Water is so, so clear here. Looking way down there, I can. Peering down. Oh, a shark following it up. Come on. Away from the shark. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Can you grab that for me, Ads? And I've got to tell you, I think that's the desired nice. species right there. Good work. Big red eyes, I noticed. So they are fish that hunt well at night time. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So, so have them very well at night. So. so better at night than in the daytime? Uh, on certain spots, yeah, because they move around. Yep. Uh, when you find them schooling up like here, then just as good during the day. So Awesome. Thanks, bud. A couple of J hooks on at the moment. Geez, they pull hard these fish. There's no doubt about that. Like everything here, it's either eat or be eaten. So it's a bit of a race to the boat, really. Oh, grab that, mate. I think I actually had two on there at one point, and I've, the other one's been cracked off. But I've got to tell you, that's what I came all the way out here for, Adam. That's, that's a all beauty. Here for. Yes. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Well done. Wow. Now. Tell me, Jacko's up the front throwing soft plastics. Get over here, Jack. Come and have a look at this. 
Tell me a little bit about these things as far as peak bite times go. So all fish have peak bite times. Is this a matter of more of finding them or are there? Finding little... them, being on top of them, and then also just having some form of run in the tide. So personally, I don't think the start of the tide or the end of the tide, as long as there is movement there, yep. you get your baits down, they'll get hungry. Usually you get one or two, you can get 10 or 12. Yeah, okay, so no run, no fun, really? No, that's right. Well, I could tell you, there's lots of fun right there. <laughs> that's solid. A, that's a beautiful looking fish, that one. Really handy to have a tub like this of these big six inch grubs, lots of sand, just to mix things up at times. You never know what other fish are zipping around there, and sometimes they just a bit of that tail action looks a little bit more natural, can make the difference between getting a bite and not slide that up onto that grub keeper. Look at that, that's, that's got so much action in the water. Three eighths, sorry, it's three ounce, I should say, not a three eighths. Three eighths are fishing right in shallow, but a three ounce head. It'll get right down into the current. It's got an articulated body so it can really move around and, and rattle around in the current. There we go. Yep. That's a better fish. It didn't, didn't take too long to get him to bite, Jack. What's going on here, mate? Yeah, was that first drop? Yep. Yeah, okay. Any colour there yet? No, nah, very shortly though. Just the in colour now, so I think I'm left with one. What are you calling for, mate? Largey, I think. I would say. Or in the back. Oh. A big Chinaman, maybe. Chinaman. He is. Oh yeah. Nice. Swing him round here. Grab him for you. Oh, mate. Chunky little fella. He must How's have lost that? the top one. Yeah. Just re really grab him. Pretty here. fish, aren't they? They are. They're a beautiful fish. As juveniles, they've got this real long fin on them. It shortens as they get into an adult. Yep. So yep. it's pretty cool still seeing a fin that size on one that size, too. Yeah, that's it. No, yeah. they're awesome. Iridescent blue flames through them. Yep. Pretty colours. And how big do they get? 14, 15 kilo. Yeah, We've right. We've seen them regularly, yeah. That's a so, big, big one, yeah. Yeah, and they fight all the way to the top, burn you out. Nice. So, they're yeah, pretty cool. I'll let him go. Way you go, buddy. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, come on, son. <laughs> head shake, head shake, head shake. That's what I want to see. Oh. oh, I was wondering what I had there. Looks like a black kingfish or a cobia. They're a pretty cool thing. It's amazing fishing so far today. The different species we've caught, trevallies and large mouse and cod, and all sorts of fish. And uh, the mighty black kingfish or cobia is just another one of them. Come on, bud. Here he comes. People mistake them for a shark sometimes, and you can see why. The big, long, slender brown body, it looks a bit like a whaler shark. They're definitely a pretty cool character, the mighty cobia. Oh. They can be a little painful. <laughs> they can They'll be. use 40% of their fight in the water and 60% in the boat. Yeah. Well, we might get the net ready, eh? We'll so, put the net around this way. Yeah, it's probably going to be safer for everyone. Yep. All right, mate, I think we've got a net shot here. They, they do go off a bit, don't they, the mighty coves? This will be fun. <laughs> He's not ready yet. So there you go there, Adam. Get, get his head get up. His head in, Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Maybe not. There we and go. got him. All right, bud. Let's get that him. Top hook. Yep. We'll subdue this fella because they do have a habit of going off. <laughs> Another nice. species. We're racking them up today. <laughs> We're getting a few. We are racking a few up. No doubt. They're a cool fish. They grow to a huge size too, don't yeah, they? Massive. I know um, you said to me that you saw some manta rays out here the other day when you were out chartering. Yep. And I bet somebody's thrown a lure towards the manta rays. Not to hook the manta ray, of course, but because these blokes swim around with them, don't Definitely. they? Definitely. They love hanging around anything that's big and. Whale and in sharks. The water. You see yeah, them with whale sharks. Whales, everything, yeah. Ah, they're cool looking fish. 
um, you know, called a black kingfish or cobia, slightly different shape to our yellowtail kingfish down south. Have a look there how yeah. wide they are through the head. The most dangerous part of all. Yeah, how many is there? One, two, about eight spikes. Yep. Dorsal spikes, we'll mm. call those. Yeah. yeah. And the tail's really dangerous too, because it does that. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. well, that was a joke. You guys missed it. All right, I'll put it back in there. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Good fish. Oh. Oh. Bye bye, GT, bye bye. <laughs> my uh, my soft plastic has been eaten by something. I don't know what, but I out. I was on the full wind back. I don't know what this is, but that is full drag, just getting absolutely smoked there at the moment. <laughs> it's one turn back. <laughs> only, only about 80 turns to go. I've just got one turn back. There's times like this when you're really thinking about the leader knot that you're tied and the knot you're tied onto your jig head. Let's see what we've got here. I'm thinking it might be a giant trevally, but who knows? Oh, I don't know what this is. It's not small. Oh, mate, it's been a pretty good fight so far. I don't think it's a shark, eh? I think it could be a GT. I'm still thinking that. Slowly coming back towards us. It's a cool little outfit, this one. This is. 30 to 50 pounds, really well balanced actually. The 6,000 size spinner oil and the 50 pound braid. So when you get everything balanced right, amazing how hard you can pull on some of this gear. Yeah, I can see him there now. Oh, okay, cool. Big giant trevally. Yeah, solid. That's a bit of a bonus. And I guess for you guys, when you're running your charters, you're sort of not really looking to find too many GTs, but I could say as a sports fisherman from down south, they're a prize catch, these big giant trevally. They are beautiful. And that one there, I've got to tell you, it's not a bad looking fish, that one. Solid? Yeah. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> On the soft plastic <laughs> tackle, that is an absolute cracker. 35 giga. Right, eh? You're right, mate. See if you can. He's just hooked in the side there. And once I've got his tail, he'll be right. You're right, buddy. <laughs> you want to get his belly? We'll lift that up. You're right. Yeah, you want to get need, his belly? Need a hand? Yeah, you're right. You get his belly. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's epic. Man. Hey. Woo. <laughs> Chuck him here. Let's get him over and here. Let's have can, a look uh, at him. That is a can roll him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jacko, get over here, son. Mate, look at that. <laughs> get over here, son. On the son. plastic. On the light gear. <sighs> I don't use the word epic very often. I tell you, that was an epic battle. How were the gear changes? Let's lift this thing up and show everyone. How were the gear changes on that reel? Oh, it'd be 80 pound, that fish. Close to, yeah. 35 on 35 kilo. Kick, yeah. <laughs> Have He's a look at solid. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. That's epic. That's epic. I don't know what to say. You've got to be careful holding them with your bare hands, obviously, with those big tail flutes, but yeah. uh, we're all good there, mate. That's a big fish. And... Um, you were cranking that little rim, weren't you? Oh, it was. So <laughs> fast as you could I, did the, from I it. did the twitch twitch. Jack's that mad lure caster. He just loves it. And uh, I got a, a really nice big nanny on the on the bait fishing. I thought, oh, I'll go with the plastic and show everyone. Oh, can you see it? No, it's still in his mouth. I don't even know what I'm saying at the moment. I'm so, I'm so <laughs> pumped. So that's a three ounce jig head and a big curly tail, soft plastic. Crank that up above the largey. So, so maybe this was one of the fish that stole one of our nanogods. They do, I know, I know. See, earlier I said uh, as a joke that we'd uh, 
we used to use liveys for them, but it wasn't a joke. <laughs> We'd use live largemouth for them. Wow. They eat 70, 80 centimetre largemouth, no problem at all. That is a horse. Check that out. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Check that out. We've had a magnificent day fishing with Adam Finlay. Uh, from Audacity Charters out of, out of Townsville. Townsville's a fantastic town. It's delivering some unbelievable fish, including this cracking big GT on, on the spin rod there. Unbelievable. Largemouth Nanagai, cod, you know, we've caught a whole range of species today. But I've got to tell you, to top it off with a big GT, can't wait to watch this one swim off. It's been fantastic. You've been watching Real Action, Jack Noel and Michael Guest. As I said, Adam Finlay will catch you next time. Bye now. <laughs> yeah, mate. That's awesome. All right, mate. Let's let him go, guys. There he goes. Look at that. Oh, my. Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.